Hey guys, Ajay Vraj here from the Brainstorm Force team, makers of the Astra theme for WordPress. And in today's exciting WordPress tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you how to add a video background to your WordPress website easily, quickly, and for free. So let's get started. So a couple of clarifications before we start with this video. The first clarification would be that we'll be using the Gutenberg or the block editor for the example or the entirety of this video. Definitely page builders do have this option. For example, Elementor does have this functionality as a native functionality, but I didn't want to include that in the video just to keep it at a reasonable length. But if you want to learn how to do this with Elementor, just make sure that you leave a comment on this video saying Elementor, and then we'll make a separate video about how to add video backgrounds to your WordPress website using Elementor. So the second clarification is that that in the video I'm going to look at or show you two different ways to add video backgrounds to your site. The first one would be a native functionality that's present in WordPress and the second method I'm going to recommend a plugin. Now for my plugin recommendation I have specifically excluded the use of any of these slider plugins because because they do do offer or most of the plugins or slider plugins offer video backgrounds as a functionality but they also offer tons of other functionality which you might not need like right? for example animations on headings uh some other uh, slider functionality which might not be useful to you guys so if you want to use a slider plugin you're free to do so but the scope of this video is limited around just adding video backgrounds so the plugin i've chosen which i'm going to mention later in this video is just or does this only uh the one thing really well all right with that clarification let's get started with the actual implementation of adding video backgrounds to wordpress So we're inside the magical world of WordPress and I have a blank page or post open up right here for this demonstration in this video and let's look at method number 1 to add video backgrounds to WordPress which is by using the native cover block in WordPress. If you didn't already know, WordPress Gutenberg or the block editor offers a cover block that you can add to your site. Let me just add it by typing in forward slash cover and then you can add it to your site. Of course, you can use the block navigation menu. Uh, that's uh, completely up to you how do you add the cover image or cover block. And the cover block has a few different options. So you have the option of adding a I'd say a static color background also a gradient background and it offer, also offers uh, options to add image backgrounds and also video backgrounds. For the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at image or I say sorry video backgrounds so what i'm going to do is just go to the media library because i already have a video uh, uploaded uh, to my site this is the video that i'm talking about and i can just add it right here and it will be embedded or i say placed on my website so i'll select this and now you'll see that the option or the video is now playing seamlessly in the background and the interesting part about using the cover block is that it just doesn't um, uh, offer you just a native way to uh, play videos it also offers a paragraph block on top which is selected right here and now i have the options of using the paragraph block to write anything on the actual video embed or the background video so let's say uh the video i've chosen is like a woman using a mobile phone on an app so let's say uh we are promoting a mobile app so i'll just type in download our app and i have all the options that i'll get in the paragraph block so i can change the font size the font pixels if i whatever the options i want to use i can also change the color of the text and also background of the color or, or the background uh, as just a segment of the actual paragraph block just me let, let me give you a demonstration so this is what i can do technically with the, the cover block and also change or i can also change the uh, color of the actual text So just make sure that whatever you do uh, the contrast is enough for that uh, so that anybody can actually read the text if you decide to use a similar functionality on your site. So this is the basic way of how to add the uh, video backgrounds to your website. Now it does work uh, but the functionality overall is quite limited. I haven't shown you the actual functionality of the uh cover block so let me just switch to the cover block and now inside the cover block or the options inside the cover block so i'll just talk about the options that you have so first you have the option of picking a focal point so let's say you want uh, to focus on the mobile phone so you you can just move this around and gently the uh, video will navigate over there and you can also if you have a larger dimension video you can move this around to the point of the video where uh, you want users to focus on so this is a handy feature to have you can also uh, i'd say set the height of the uh, cover block so let's say you want it just to have be 200 pixels so you can actually do that or maybe you can do 400 pixels so it does give you a complete freedom on how large or how small you want to make the cover block you can also just do this uh, drag and um, change the customize the size depending on how if you don't want to specify the pixel size but just want to drag it around also you have the option of uh, overlaying a solid color or a gradient background on top of the video so this just helps you increase the contrast between the text and uh, the actual paragraph so let's say i want to add uh, or darken the video a little bit so i'll just add a solid color uh, overlay and then i'll 
increase or decrease the opacity to make the transparency of the overlay and that will help me just uh, make the uh, background darker or lighter depending on what i want to do so this is uh, similarly uh, the option is present uh, for me to add gradients on top as well so just give me more functionality or some freedom to work with on what i want to do with the video so definitely i'd say it's very much usable as i mentioned but does it offer some interesting functionality no i i'd say not but this does offer some basic functionality but uh, the most or i say the more important limitation that I felt was that I cannot cannot change any of this text or I cannot add additional blocks on top if I want to. Let's say I just I'm not happy with just a paragraph block. I want to add something else. So technically, I don't have the option to do so. And that's where the second plugin that we're going to mention comes into play. So let me talk about the plugin first. So the plugin I've chosen is called Advanced WordPress Backgrounds. Now, there are a few other plugins out there which offer similar functionality. But for in my testing, most of those plugins were either out of date or they were completely broken. For example, I did consider this one, but it hasn't been tested for a really long time, it hasn't been updated in three years. So definitely not recommended, but this plugin was also recently updated or, the date, uh, or at the date of this recording, just updated a day ago and does work really well in my testing. So that's why I've chosen this plugin. I have it installed on my website. So let me just go back to my website right here. I'll delete the cover block right here and I'll add a specific block on my site again with the advanced uh, cover block or advanced video background and then we'll start testing it out so all you have to do a uh, similar fashion this plugin when it's installed on your site it also offers another block that you can add to your page so you can uh, just type in a w b and the background uh, block should show up and then add it and now you have the option of doing the same things but i'd say more control or you will have more control over what you want to do on the advanced uh, video background block or awb right so uh, from the looks of it uh, it does look very similar but let's start by adding a video first so you have multiple options again with the uh, this video or this plugin so you have color options that means you can add uh, color backgrounds you can add image backgrounds and also video backgrounds which we are interested in so i'll just add the video background right here and this uh, plugin offers two different functionalities. You can have a video uh, from Vimeo or YouTube, and you can also add self-hosted video. Now, in my opinion, this is very important because let's say you're a really large video, you don't want or you wouldn't want to self-host that because that'll cause your server to slow down. That'll cause maybe your hosting company to send you notices about not doing that stuff if you get a lot of traffic and definitely it will take up a lot of resources on your server. So definitely not recommended. So what I'll do, I'll pause the video for a second, go to our YouTube channel and embed or choose a video link from one of our videos, and then I'll show you the rest of the demonstration by, uh, I'd say both the options first. So give me a second, I'll come back. All right, so I'm back and I have chosen one of our videos from our YouTube channel, Brainstorm Force, and I'll add the URL right here. And instantly see, you can see the actual video starts playing in the background. But what you see is that you can't see the complete video. Don't worry, we'll fix that. And uh, let's look at the first rest of the options and I'll, I'll tell you how to actually fix this option. Uh, so definitely, as I mentioned, you have the option of using self-hosted video. And one in interesting functionality that I found in self-hosted video was that you can select multiple formats of video to choose from. For example, you have MP4, you have OGV, and you have WebM, and you can upload uh, all three versions of your uh, video to uh, your website. And the, uh, the uh, benefit of that is that, let's say one of uh, the devices that one of your visitors is using maybe does not support MP4, then uh, it will fall back to one of the other options. So it, it just ensures that the video will actually play back on most of the devices. And you also have the option of enabling this on mobile devices because for some reason, mobile devices do not support video backgrounds. So that's one thing that you can do. So this is the functionality of the self-hosted option. Let's switch back to uh, YouTube for now, just to show you the rest of the options. Again, you have option of enabling this on mobile devices. You cannot choose the start time and end time. So let's say you have a really long video, but you want to just add the 10 seconds or maybe five seconds of that video. So you don't have to download the video, cut the video, and then just embed it, maybe self-host it. You have the option natively available in this plugin, which is pretty, I'd say, pretty useful, which was not present in the cover block. So you have the option of looping the video. Let's say you want to keep it uh, looping back and forth. That's also interesting. And you can also have the option of always play. So this will ensure that the video keeps playing in the background, even if the user scrolls down to the bottom of the page or somewhere else. And there are some interesting options. So let me quickly run uh, over them what the options are. So you have the poster image option. That means it's kind of a thumbnail or I'd say the thumbnail, not exactly the thumbnail because the video actually starts playing automatically once it's loaded. So while the video is being loaded, the poster image will be shown up. So you can actually have a different kind of poster image if you need on your site. Again, you have the overlay options. You can uh, overlay background colors on this so to make the video dark or light. And the interesting part here is that you have spacing options. So let's say you want to add mar margins and paddings. So you completely just come here and enter visually 
uh, where you want the margins and paddings to appear. And this just gives you a lot of uh, say flexibility in how to uh, place the video on your site. And one more, or I'd say a couple of other options are like parallax options. So you won't have, if you let's say want to have parallax options, so you can actually uh, choose this option and this video will have some parallax options and for the speed or uh, you say you can still customize not apart from i say you have options for different kind of parallax options and you can also control the speed and also enable disable it on mobile devices and you also have mouse parallax options so just adding a little bit of i say interactivity to your embedded video this just make gives you more uh, functionality to work with and coming to the best part of uh, this plugin now this uh, maybe you don't use any of these features or maybe this is not really important to you. But the most important functionality that I found on this um, plugin is that you have the option or uh, the flexibility of adding any block on top of this video overlay block. So you can add paragraph, you can add heading, you can add any kind of block right here on this video background. This is where this gets really interesting or this is where I was blown away because this is something that is not natively possible. So let me just give you a quick demonstration. Let me add an advanced heading block, which is from our ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg plugin. And as soon as I added uh, the video height also increases, this which is, which is uh, something I'm gonna talk about. So now you can add any kind of heading uh, on this uh, um, video background. Okay, let's say again, I say download our app. Technically that's not the title of the video that I have embedded, but let's go with it. Right, so now I have the option of customizing the heading block because uh, this is an advanced heading block which is coming from our ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg. So I can choose the heading tags, I can customize the colors, I can customize the subheading, may a separator, I can actually increase the thickness, I can increase the width of the separator. So complete controls which you didn't get with the paragraph block. So this is something I'm really um, interested in or something that uh, takes this functionality of this plugin to the next level. And you can keep going, right? So I've just added one, um, I'd say heading, I can keep adding more headings or even other blocks on this page. And this is where uh, one of the important things that most people will be concerned about, uh, height controls on this, right? So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the height of the uh, embed video was very small, but as you add, keep adding uh, more uh, widgets to it, more blocks to it, it just uh, keeps going up. But technically, if you, let's say, you want to make the video embed full width or the full dimensions of the video, you actually do have the options uh, to do that. Uh, let me just quickly navigate through the settings and I'll show you where the options appear. Just give me one second. All right, so I just disabled the top toolbar just to keep it simple and show you uh, in real time how the options in the block options right here affect the block. So technically you have uh, some options right here which you can figure. So you have the option of cho choosing the background type, which I already showed you in the block settings right here. Then again, you have the option of changing the alignment, which is fine, which you can use. You have this option, which I was talking about. So if you make sure or enable this, the entirety of the video will be enabled as a full height video. Now you might uh, like this or you might not like this. Again, you see the parallax options working right here. For most of use, the use cases that I tried this out on, uh, I didn't want to have this option. But again, you have the option if you want to, but let's say you don't want to embed a full height video. Let's say I'll disable this, but now you want to add a little bit of spacing or you want just have to little more, bit more space right here. So let's say even if uh, I delete this, uh, heading block, the second heading block. Now the height of the uh, video embed is affected by what I'm doing, right? So whatever blocks or whatever uh, widgets I'm adding on top, they are controlling the height. But there's a simple fix around it. Uh, let's say I want to add, uh, I want to increase the height of this without uh, adding additional, I'd say blocks that take up space on the uh, screen. So I'll just add a spacer block, right? Pretty simple solution. Spacer block has been part in, uh, of WordPress for quite some time. And once you add the spacer block, all you have to do is just increase the size right here or you can go into the block settings directly in the spacer block and then increase the height in pixels and then the entirety of the video will be resized to something that you prefer. And again, you have the options of uh, customizing the rest of the options. So uh, if you want to add an uh, overlay to this uh, to make it dark, that's also completely possible. Let me just add an overlay right here. Let's say I add a black background color and I maybe change the transparency a little bit and now I have a dark video background. And this is an easy way to add a video background to your site. Now, definitely the video I've chosen doesn't do a uh, great justice to it. So let me just quickly change the video to the old self-hosted video that I was talking about so that I can give you a more reasonable explanation of what kind of videos you would be embedding on your site. So I'll be back in a second. 
All right, so I deleted the YouTube video and embedded the self-hosted video right here. And one thing I would look at to clarify that sometimes this plugin is a little bit glitchy. And what will happen is that when you try to actually embed the video, technically it is embedded on this uh, specific area that you can see right here, but it won't show up in the preview. But when you actually look at the page, it will actually show up. And just for this demonstration on how creatively you can use this, I actually created a simple page uh, uh, using one of our starter templates. I'll link that uh, down below in the description. And I just added this or created this page where you can see uh, it's a mobile app uh, page that you can use for any kind of mobile app promotions. And I just added this video embed at the bottom of the page just for this demonstration. And I also use the tint of this blue color to add a tint on top. And I think it seamlessly works with this page. And that's how you can use video embeds on your site creatively. You can use this for headers, footers. And that's how you add video backgrounds to your WordPress website. If you enjoyed this video, uh, learn something new today, make sure to hit that like button and also share this video with someone who you think will appreciate this content. Content. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, make sure that you select all notifications so you can know about all these great videos that we put out on a regular basis. We also do a weekly WordPress series where we talk about all the interesting th things that have happened in the WordPress ecosystem every week. So make sure you subscribe and also watch those videos as well. I'll leave a couple of videos right here on the screen, which you can watch next. And also I'll leave a logo right here in the back so that you can subscribe to our channel if you already haven't done so. You were watching and listening to Yuvraj on the Brainstorm Force channel. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care and stay safe.